Uh, you looked away as soon as I hit the report button. What are you up to? What's going on in Normie's life? Why you look so depressed? It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay, don't be so sad. Uh, your nose is dripping. That's nasty. Hello everyone. It's been a minute since I have done an update. Things have been kind of rough lately and so it's been kind of hard for me to like update because I've been focused on so many other things. I am currently 30 weeks. Uh, by the time I upload this video, I'll more than likely hit 31 weeks because I don't think I'll get this video um, edited and uploaded today. Yeah, it's currently Wednesday, November 3rd which means it is Cloudy's birthday, and I will show you guys her in a minute. On top of that, I recently took my glucose test, which if you know, or if you don't know, um, at 28 weeks, you're supposed to take uh, glucose testing. I know that sometimes they do it earlier than that, but generally it's around 28 weeks or so. And what it tests for is if you have gestational diabetes, and I failed my test, which means that I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes. And it's been extremely difficult having to be on a diet restriction, etc., because I have to watch how many carbs I eat per meal so that way it doesn't spike my blood sugar. Because if I don't try my best to manage this, um, there could be a lot of risks involved in the pregnancy. And I'm not going to really go through the full list because it's kind of scary sounding. Some of it is, some of it's like, you know, kind of a given. But I am trying my best. And I think I've been doing pretty well. If any of you have any like meal ideas, like if you've dealt with gestational diabetes bef like in the past or currently or anything like that and you have any meal ideas that are low, car low in carbs and like sugars and stuff, I'd really appreciate that. So along with all of that, um, I'm still continuing my IV infusions. At this point, they don't really do very many ultrasounds anymore. It's all just checking the heartbeat with the Doppler. And yeah, overall, uh, we've been doing pretty good aside from all of my doctor's appointments that I've been having to go to. It just seems like it's one after another. Baby's been doing okay. He, my doctor told me to start doing kick counts for him. However, I don't know, he doesn't really move that often. Like, and lately I've noticed that I have been getting movements throughout the entire day, but they're so gentle and so little, I barely even notice that he's moving. Like sometimes I'll be like just looking at my stomach and I notice that it's moving around, but I don't really feel it. Like it's so crazy that he's, he's like so gentle, I don't know. Another thing I've noticed that he likes to do is he likes to press some kind of body part, either his hand, his foot, or his butt, or maybe even his head, I have no idea, like press up against me and just kind of do that. Like literally just press and then like stop and then like press and then stop. I have no idea. It kind of hurts because he does it a little hard. Um, I don't know if it's like stretching or what, but my entire stomach looks lopsided when he does it. It's kind of crazy. All right, now where's the birthday girl? <gasps> She's coming. There she is. Hi, Cowdy. You got hair in your mouth. Cowdy, it's your birthday. You are so pity. And you're mad that I'm not giving you attention. Okay, look, she's got her pretty birthday girl bandana on. Cause you are the birthday girl. How old are you? Say I'm seven, seven years old. Can you guys believe it? I started this channel when she was three. Oh, those are the good scratchies. Yeah, those are the good scratchies. I know you all miss Cloud. Uh, she's doing great. I know it's all been about this doofus. Cloud's doing great. She is enjoying her retired life, her pet life. She just kind of lounges around the house unless we go and do activities. Oh, that's a nice stretch. Oh my goodness. You have to be the center of attention, don't you? You have to be the center of attention. And if you're not, you, you make yourself. <laughs> See, this is why I can't ever focus on Cloud. Can we move? Can you move? Cody, you just don't want this puppy, huh? You know this puppy, yeah, Cowdy. It's your old, huh? It's your old. You good to do you, huh? She does. Her breast smells so bad. 
So for the special occasion today, I decided that I was gonna make some pup cakes for the dogs. Um, this is obviously like everything is safe for them to have. Um, I will link the recipe down below where I got it. So yeah, I wanted to make them a cute little treat for Caddy's birthday. Oh my goodness, you're so weird. So I got Cloudy chilling here on this chair and she, <laughs> she hates it. We're gonna try our best. Try to lift this up so you can <laughs> see me now too. Okay, that's good. So now we have a somewhat mashed up banana. I say somewhat because I could have done a little bit better. Now we're going to add the peanut butter. Can I look some of it? Do you approve? Is this the best ingredient for your cupcakes? Now, we're gonna add the egg. If I can crack it right. Oh my gosh, I have not been cracking eggs like properly the past few weeks and it's been driving me nuts. Yeah, that was, that was a little messy. And then whisk all of that together. Really wish I had a whisking machine. Would be nice. Okay, so this mixture, I guess he's storm. Uh, this mixture is gonna be a little bit chunky because my bananas are not mashing as well as I would like. Um, probably because they're still a little ripe, but that's okay. This is what it's looking like. It actually smells pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've been obsessed with bananas and peanut butter like almost this entire pregnancy. So this is smelling amazing. All right. So we get all mixed up. That's what it's looking like. Do you wanna try some of the batter? Can I get a cloudy approval? Is that good? I think it I think it's got a cloudy stamp of approval. Does it got a normie? Come here. Does it got a normie stamp of approval? And there we go. Cupcakes are done. You guys excited? You guys want some cupcakes? You want some cupcakes? They look a little bit more on the Halloween side, but that's okay. <laughs> Halloween was like two days ago. So I usually don't like milk bone, um, but currently it's actually the only treats that I have because I was running at the store. Um, but these are specifically, like, I've checked the ingredients and these ones specifically are actually pretty decent. So I have them for now, but I think it would be really cute to add some to some of these cupcakes. I only have a few left, so I can't add, like, one to every single cupcake. Okay, so I lied. I had enough for all the cupcakes, so we'll just go ahead and add that. Look how cute! Look how cute, you guys! Is Caddy ready? Can you wave? Oh, thank you. Here you go. <laughs> she doesn't know what to do with it. You not know what to do with it? Oh, let's uh, let's take it out of the wrapper. It's okay if you get the floor a little messy today. Here you go. <laughs> Get it, Cloudy. <laughs> Dang, you ate that thing almost whole. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, it's Normie's turn. Here, Norm. Here, hold on, let me take it out of the wrapper. Hold up, hold up, hold up, back up, back up. 
back up. Let me take it out of the wrapper for you. There you go. Oh, you got pumpkin on your nose. You got pumpkin on your nose. <laughs> you can't eat the wrapper, Cody. All right, you guys ready? Go ahead. <laughs> Why are you doing like that? <laughs> you good, Norm? You good? You gotta tell your sister happy birthday. What? Are you good? Oh, that was a nice burp. There's actually one more cupcake and Cloud has already had three and Storm's had two. So I'm gonna give this one to Storm to make it equal. Jeez, that was a burp. Nice burp. I actually asked on my Instagram story if you guys had any questions, like anything that you want me to answer um, that is more recent. I haven't done a Q&A on this channel like literally since I started it, so it's been a long time. So if you're not following my Instagram already, I don't blame you. It sucks. However, I do post cute dog photos on there. I have a really big hobby in photography and love to post them there along with sharing some more of my everyday daily struggles. But I'm going to go ahead and answer some of these questions that you posted on my stories. And the first one is, do you have a name picked out for the baby? We actually do have a name picked out for baby boy. Um, I am not sharing it yet, however, because we also aren't 100% sure on the name. We're kind of still trying to get a feel for it. But once he is born, that's when we will announce his name. What's life in Hawaii like? To be honest, I have a love-hate relationship with Hawaii. Um, I love it because it's absolutely beautiful and I'm very grateful for being here. However, it's very lonely. <laughs> and there's also not very much to do here besides like hiking and going to the beach. Yeah, I mean, I've been trying to make the most of it, doing what I can. Someone asked, do you prefer female dogs over males? I actually don't have a gender preference when it comes to, well, anything, but also when it comes to dogs. Um, when it comes to me for picking dogs, I just, I want to pick the best one for me personally, temperament-wise and personality-wise. Um, if it ends up being a male, great. If it ends up being a female, great. I don't mind. So somebody asked, are you going to film the birth or do a story time? I have no idea what's going to happen. It's already been really difficult for me to be able to film when I go to appointments. I've really been wanting to vlog more or even just get little clips of the ultrasounds. However, the doctors, every single time I've gone to the appointments, have told me that there's like a no film rule and everything like that. But I would love to film it for myself for like memories and like personal things as well. So I'm not sure. Um, I'm really going to try depending on how it goes because it might be interesting and it might not be interesting. I really hope everything goes smooth. And if everything goes smooth, then I might not have a story time. Um, so the last one that I'm going to address is that somebody asked... How are you working with the dogs to get them ready for their baby brother? So I do plan on making a whole separate video about what I'm doing specifically to help prepare my dogs and then also to give tips on what you can do for your specific dog as well on how to help prepare them for a new addition to the family. Hi Normie. What are you doing? You seeping over there? And then clouds right there. We're all just chilling now. Are those cupcakes good? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching us make cupcakes for Cloudy's birthday and answering some of your questions along with giving you guys an update. Um, I'm going to try to post a little bit more. I want to be able to update more, not only for you guys, but also for my personal reasons as well. But I promise you, like, nothing's really going on, so there's not too much to update about and that's why there's not very many videos coming out but i do try to update when there is something to talk about i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you guys later hope you have a wonderful rest of your week bye